Hello y'all, welcome back to part two of talking about XO Nail Bar Salon Owner Jeanette. And now we are talking first basis, first names, because um, she was mentioning my name, so now I have every right to mention her name. So since she mentioned us, I got every right to do it so. So now we're on first basis. So the salon owner, you know, last video I didn't say like the nail salon name nor the name of the owner um, because it was all allegedly and you know it's legal things to that but now um, she mentioned my name, she put uh, stuff on social media so now it's like a social media thing so it's, it's a lot of um, factual shit that I'm gonna be saying, okay? And I now got the receipts of everything, all the conversations, everything I got receipts of everything. I even got receipts of her saying that she's not going to, she, she could have given her the deposit, but she's not going to because of everything that unfolded. Um, that's a little illegal. So, um, here we are. So I'm going to be, you know, telling you guys everything, showing you guys everything. So now when you guys know who I'm talking about, it is the, um, the business XO Nail Bar, that's what she goes for on Instagram. And then um, she's located in Buena Vista in Stockton. And um, her name, the salon owner, is Jeanette. I don't have her last name, but I will get her last name by the end of this video. And then I'll put all her information out there. Um, that way you guys could know who we're talking about. Um, as you guys could saw, I, well, I will post that little clip in the morning. I actually ended up calling the city of Stockton just to make sure that she was actually licensed. Um, to make sure she has her proper licensing to run a business and also do booth rentals. Uh, and then I actually ended up going to the actual business license place. You guys know I do not play about this. I don't sit here and say I'm going to do something and don't do it. Like I actually like do what I say I'm going to do. If you know the city of Stockton and you guys are more than welcome welcome to google it I'm, I'm making a little funny face um let me see if i can get a little piece of paper um i actually i i actually went to the building of zoning and coding and um business license that's me taking a picture in front of the building um i went today but unfortunately they're closed every other friday and today is that other friday so i will be there on monday um to make sure that she has her proper licenses like i said this has nothing to do with me this is not my 250 dollars she's trying to scam me off it is literally my friend who she is a first-time business owner she is a nail tech. She's 22 years old. She has a lot of personal stuff going on in her life and she doesn't have guidance. This has nothing to do with me. I took it upon myself to bring you guys this information so you guys don't get scammed by the same girl, Jeanette, because she has a salon. You guys saw in the other video, not of to code. She has a salon and she actually rents booths to a lot of nail techs. This is the thing about that. She is going to scam somebody else. She is going to do the same thing that she did to my friend D. She's going to do the same exact same thing to somebody else. And this is what I'm here to do. To prevent that. To show you guys. Educate you guys on what you guys need to be careful on. Unfortunately, I actually didn't get the actual contract itself. But I'm going to have her send me pictures of the actual contract send me pics of the contract and I'm showing you guys how unprofessional she is and if you're a business owner and you're starting off you're gonna make mistakes you're gonna make mistakes but it is the way that you carry yourself throughout the whole entire process we have shown this girl we have shown Jeanette I'm gonna I'm gonna call her her, her first name basis we have shown Jeanette the owner of XO nail bar we have shown her where she's gone wrong how we debunked all of her little shit she was throwing at us and even then she doesn't want to listen she still wants to withhold the deposit of $250 even after we have shown her how she's wrong she just just doesn't care like I said I understand if you guys are a first-time business owner and you guys get things wrong it's okay but if someone's trying to teach you something and you're still like fuck you you're not gonna get it back 
you deserve everything that's coming to you. You deserve everything that's going to come your way. You deserve all of this that's happening. You deserve all of that because you still want to take her deposit even after we debunked every single thing. Now, I have screenshots of everything, right? And like I did mention multiple times, if you just send her the deposit, all this goes away. All of this goes away because, like I said, the only reason why I'm doing this is because I'm trying to bring awareness so my friend could get her deposit. The minute that deposit is returned, I'm not the type of person that's going to be sitting there talking to a brick wall. I'm not that person. I got other things I got to take care of. I'm a business owner. I own multiple businesses. I've been here for almost a decade doing business. I make time for the things and the people that I love. I, she's somebody that I love. I'm going to make time for her, but... Girl, just send it. I will go about my way. You could go about your way. And that's it. Okay, that's it. That's it. First, I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to show you guys how she was big, bad, and bold. And she thought she was somebody. And she thought she... <laughs> she thought she was somebody real tough. And she was on social media reposting everything that people were sending her. And that's how I knew that I got her pressed. That's how I knew that she was pressed, she was bothered, and this shit tickled her little booty. That's how I know, because she went to social media, screenshotted every single DM that she got of people slandering me, slandering my business, slandering, talking all this shit, and trying to pump her up, pump her chest up. And she reposted all of that. If you're somebody that really don't care, and really don't give a fuck, you're not gonna say nothing. You're not going to say nothing. You go, you're not going to say absolutely nothing. But she was there trying to make herself feel better, feel big and bold. And people talk about you a boss, bitch. And she was all reposting it. She wanted to make herself feel good. She wanted to validate herself. She, want, she needed validation that she was right and she's a boss and she's this, she's that. And then she deleted everything. The YouTube video came out and then she deleted everything. She deleted absolutely everything, and I got proof of that. Because, let me tell you something. When you put something in the internet, that shit cannot be deleted. Somebody out there got a screenshot of it. Somebody out there got it in their freaking uh, trash can box. It's out there to be seen, and it is public. I literally have everything where she started to post and talk about me. I have everything. And then, after afterwards she want to um she want to delete everything like no we already started this funk we already started all of this uh you know <laughs> you know what i mean we already started all this so ain't no need to be deleting nothing baby it, it, no need to delete nothing okay so i want to show you guys the first the first step before she started posting um other people slandering me this is yet again the furniture in questioning and she was big bad about talking about this is not capitalized, not normal wear and tear. You just got to tighten it. I, I kind of showed you how to do it. I kind of showed you how to do it, girl, but. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hold on. Why is my video not playing? Wait, I need my little piece of paper. My little piece of paper. All right, hold on. Wait a minute. Oh, how can I do it? Wait, what if I turn down my brightness? Can y'all see better? Oh, wait, it passed too fast. Wait a minute, it went too fast. It went too fast. technical difficulties oh my god wait a minute wait a minute i'm having technical difficulties i want you guys to see the actual furniture Ugh, fuck okay can y'all see it why can't y'all see it okay wait a minute can y'all see that 
Y'all see how the furniture is not even broken, y'all? That shit's not broken. It's literally safado. All you have to do is turn it and it will lock into place. It is not broken. And she, this is what she's leeching on because she's a straight up leech. She's a leech and she's trying to leech onto that. And then the other part is the scuff, the scuff on the table which I showed you guys on the other video. That's literally, first, that's what the whole conversation was about. And actually, let me pull up. Oh no, actually, I was showing you guys what she was posting. So this is what she was posting. So as you guys can see, that's her name up there. So she's posting all this. Let me see if I got her. <laughs> Look, that's her. That's her up there, that's her page. That's her paper. Can you see without the paper? Yeah, you can. My stupid ass. That's her up there, right? So she posted all this. She's posting all this on her page. She's post stop to stop to read that. That's somebody complaining about like our piercings and stuff. She feeling bad and bold. That's her page. She posting all this. Like that's her. Oh, I just got the pictures of the contract. That's her right there. That's her right there. And then that's it. That's some other stuff. That's her. So she's feeling all big, bad, and bold like she's somebody trying to like pull one fast one on me. Girl, I don't give a fuck. I've been doing this for almost 10 years. You don't think I haven't heard all this shit before? You don't think I haven't put myself in this situation before? Girl, that, that didn't phase me now one bit. And everybody's like, oh my God, did you see what, what she said about you? I was like, yeah, and what? Oh my God, she's talking about you. And what? People go talk about you all the time. Like, that shit didn't phase me, but it made her feel good. Every, and I know bitches like her. Every single time somebody says something to make her feel good or make her feel all big, bad, and bold, she felt that. She felt that power. Ooh, I'm going to screenshot and post this. Yeah, you can have that. But then what you going to do? Then you going to delete it? Don't delete that shit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So this is a video... <clears throat> Damn, this thing be going by hella fast. I'm kind of using my finger. Hold on. Okay, so that's. Wait a minute. I'm getting all the um, I'm getting all the messages for the contract. All right. So this is like I said. This is a screenshot. Some uh, a screen record. That was her. I showed you earlier all the stuff that she had posted. She posted that. Right? This is the stuff that she had posted. And then when you go to it, right? So look, she had posted all the stuff. When you go to it, she deleted everything. She literally deleted everything. And then there's nothing. Like there's only there's only three pictures up there. She deleted everything. Like, why do you need to sit there and delete everything? No, let's run this shit up. Let's literally run this shit up. And let's show everybody. You feel like you're bad and bold and you somebody? I, first of all, I didn't do nothing to her besides speak about the situation that was happening. But she felt all really bad and bold to start talking about what people are saying and screenshot it and post it and this and that. She felt really big, bad and bold. But girl, I'm going to come huffing and puffing with my evidence. And then she saw my YouTube video because I know she saw the YouTube video. <laughs> I know she saw a YouTube video. She felt real stupid. And I told you guys she was going to feel real stupid. I told you guys because I don't come here just to talk out my fucking ass. I don't come here to do that. I come with factual shit and facts. So she saw that shit and she was like, you know what? I ain't even trying to deal with this. Why? Because everything that I'm saying is facts. Your chairs ain't up to code. Your shop ain't up to code. I'm pretty sure you ain't got licenses. I'm pretty sure you ain't got a booth rental. I'm pretty sure you don't you don't pay your taxes on these booth rentals. I'm pretty sure that the the um, the state board wouldn't approve of all this. I'm pretty sure of all that. And I'm pretty sure she is very broke. I'm pretty sure she's very broke and she ain't got no sh money. Because somebody who got money, even if my shit was a little broken. I would have been gave her her shit. You know how I would have handled that as a real boss bitch? Mind you, the two nail techs that used to rent a space with her, they not rent a space to me. Mind you, I spent on the salon furniture, I spent $5,000 on that furniture. I spent 1200 
no it was a thousand five hundred and ninety five so a thousand six hundred on the plumbing and the electrician work tomorrow they're supposed to come install another tv and another vent that's gonna cost me another three hundred dollars and let me tell you guys something I didn't charge them no deposit. I didn't charge them no deposit. Why the fuck do you need to charge a deposit for that? I totally get it. If people want to charge a deposit, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not doing none of that. But I'm not finna do all that. And I spent bank on that shit. I spent bank trying to build that business for these two nail techs. I'm not charging them no deposit. But if I did, if I did charge the deposit if I did and the same situation were to happen to me this is how I would handle it this is how I would handle it and that's how I know she's not a business owner she's literally Jeanette is literally one of those foo foo girls that want to prove something to the world this is she she lives and thrives off society of, of, of social media without social media she's literally a fucking nobody she's a nobody she needs to prove something to the world this is why you come and you built this place and you want to make yourself seem like you're a business owner, a real fucking business owner that you have barely started doing business. You're there, sweat, blood and tears, 24 fucking 7. I went there four to five times and I never saw her. Not once did I meet this girl. Not once did I see this girl there. When I first started my shit, my very first shop in 2017, 2016, I was there every fucking day blood sweat and tears every fucking day now i got years under my belt if i don't want to show up i don't show up her you was never there that says a lot about your business that says a lot about you you just literally want to build this place and you want to call yourself an entrepreneur because you have a place and you're renting it out that's not being a business owner you're still a worker. Why? Because a real boss and a real entrepreneur no longer has to sit there and actually do the work. She still has to do nails to be able to pay for that. And now that all of her rents, uh, her, her tenants literally left, they all left. They literally everybody went somewhere else. She had four to she had one, two, three, four plus the facial that's five I think she had five people the first one to leave and I could tell you exactly how they were sitting the 22 year old sat all the way in the back then it was my nail tech then it was this other nail tech and then there was another nail tech the first one to leave was the middle nail tech she left that's when I knew shit was going down. Then the other one to leave was the facial girl. And they left the same fucking month. And then the other two were the girls that I took. They left the month after. The last nail tech standing, she was going to come here with us. to It's just a poke. But I didn't have space for her. So she went and rented another space. And she just told her that she's leaving. Everybody left because your salon is a piece of trash. Yes, it's beautiful, it's nice, good colors, whatever, but that shit is trash. And as you guys can see, that shit is trash. That is somebody who's literally wanting to be an entrepreneur and a boss and want to just be on social media like, yeah, I'm a boss, da 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 da. And then you do some weird half ass shit like that. Some trash ass shit because that's trash. From the furniture that you got is trash. From the way that you handle yourself as a business person is trash. Everything about XO Nail Bar and Janet is fucking trash. And the way she carries herself, the scum of the earth. That's the scum of the earth. Because you ain't finna do that. I'm not finna do that. And mind you, the girl 30 some. She in her 30s. You a grown ass old lady. And you trying to fuck over on the 22 year old? It's her first time owning a business. It's her first time renting a spot. And this, this is the type of uh, environment you created for her. And not only that, this is the experience you gave her. I'm, I'm very blessed to say that. Thank you, D, for trusting me and not being like, damn, like, I just went from a bad place. Like, I don't know this chick. I don't know sin. Like, how I know this ain't going to be a worse place. Thank you, D, for trusting me to know that I'm going to have your back and I'm going to give you 
the best tools, the best environment, the best everything that you need so you are able to do your job and your work. Y'all see where I'm going with this? Okay. If that situation would have happened to me, I would have simply told her, hey, there is a little bit of damage. It's not too bad, but can we come up to an agreement of how much you could pay or can you come fix this or maybe can you replace things or how do you want to do this? One, I would have fixed the fucking drawer. I would have literally fixed the drawer, but I would have told her like, hey, like this is a little undone. Like I'm going to just go ahead and tighten it. But like it did have a little scuff on the table. But this is the thing. If she were to have proper equipment that scuff would have never happened because if you notice and these are these are um videos and pictures from her own instagram so she can't go and try to delete anything so this is the first one that is where d was stationed that's where she was stationed right okay you guys see how there if you guys could see there is no glass top on those woods there's no glass top on there it's just literally the wood the other nail desks the other nail desk and mind you this is before before it used to be hair um hair stations because they were gonna do hair then I'm guessing she couldn't rent it to any hairstylist. So then she turned that back area into nails. That's the furniture. But do you see how the actual nail desks, do you see how they have a glass top? The back ones don't have a glass top. They do not have a glass top. So technically she gave a nail tech a station that is supposed to be for a hair stylist. One. Per her contract, they were supposed to get equipped with the right equipment to do their job. How are you going to give a nail tech a hair station with no glass top or no marble top? And you expect that to not be any scuffs and marks? The nail techs have a glass top. So why didn't D get a glass top? If D would have had a glass top on top of her counter, those scuffs would have never happened. Those scuffs would have never happened. Tell me if I'm lying. God is my witness up above. Tell me if I'm lying. If Jeanette, the salon owner of XO Nail Bar, would have supplied D, the 22-year-old nail tech, a glass top desk you tell me if those scuffs would have been on that top of that counter. You tell me that. Tell me. No. No, absolutely not. Because the glass would have protected the wood. That, that drawer is not broken. That drawer needs to be pushed and secured. That's it. So that does not fall on D. It falls on Jeanette. Tell me if I'm wrong. This is why I'm very upset. This is why I'm going to, jumping through all these hoops, making all these YouTube videos, talking all this shit. This is why. Because it is not D's fault. Now, if the glass would have broken, I would have been like, D, like you broke her shit. Like if that piece of wood would have actually been broken, I would have been like, D, your shit is broken. You're like, you broke it. It's not broken, and that countertop, it has normal wear and tear. Sh Jeanette made this contract, and I got pictures of the contract. I just received them from D. I just received everything. And I'm going to show you guys, this is not even a legit contract because, like I said, Janet is a phony. She's a phony. She's a loser. She's not a business owner. She don't know what she's doing, okay? Let me see, it does have personal information, so let me, let me cross that out. All right, here we go. So here is, and you guys, once it shows, you guys could pause. You guys could pause and read that. I want you to guys to go to paragraph where it says equipment and personal, 
property. I want you guys to go to that part. It says, lease or renter has an obligation to keep the fixtures on the lease premises in the same conditions at receive on start date. Reasonable wear and tear is accepted. Y'all need me to... Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all need me to go back and read it. I'm gonna just go back. Reasonable wear and tear is accepted. Do I gotta do it a third time? Should I? Should I do it again? So that is normal wear and tear. The drawer is not broken. We all seen it on social media. She fucking posted it. The shit is not broken. They're, ooh, D's calling me, D is calling me. Hello, I'm making my part two YouTube video. <laughs> is it my first one? Because <laughs> I was there, girl. I was there. <laughs> like, I need you guys to hear what she's about to tell me right now. Because this is another reason why I tell you guys, this 30-some-year-old lady is literally trying to play over on a 22-year-old lady. She don't know what she got going on, and this is literally unfolding before my eyes. Look, it literally says D Nail Tech. D, go ahead and tell me what you just told me right now. So my starter is not working, and that $350 that I have to invest in my car, <laughs> and... Girls want to play with me. Like, and, and before anybody thinks that we're making this up, I'm pulling up my cameras so you guys can see that they're still outside. Hold on, hold on, D. This is going on live right now. Look, that's everybody. Literally the whole squad is trying to help her fix her car. The whole entire squad is right there trying to help her fix her car. This is what I'm talking about. Why we keep going so hard on these YouTube videos and all this. Do not play with people's money because we don't know what people got going on. We don't know. That girl don't know. Yeah, you trying to scam her off $250. And here she is having car issues, having to pay a mechanic. It is 9-16 at night. And she's stranded. Now, I don't know. D okay, D, I'm going to call you later. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I don't know Dee's financial status. I don't know if she's struggling or not. But I mean, clearly she's struggling. Her car is literally like stuck. That's three hundred and fifty dollars that she has to pay a mechanic. Not only did you just get scammed by Jeanette, an uh, uh, XO nail bar, um, like her your your landlord over something like so stupid. But now life is also kind of scamming you. Now you got to pay 300 So she in a week lost 250 and 350 five, five, six. Is that 600 5 6 That's $600 in a week. She's 22 years old. You guys tell me a 22-year-old that's able to lose $600 like that. Tell me, this is why I keep telling you do not play with people's money because we don't know what's going on. I don't know what, Jan uh, not Janet, um, D, I don't know what D got going on, but she's literally stranded at night seven at 9, 17 p.m. She's literally stranded right now, about to cash out $350. All the nails that she did today, that money's gone, poof. You do not play with people's money. And Jeanette is the scum of the earth. She's literally a piece of shit of a person because you're trying to sit here and scam this girl off her money. Bro, this is why I'm real pressed about it. This is why I'm real pressed. And I don't care if people sit there and be like, oh, she's so unprofessional for this and this and that. Let me tell you, you wish you had a bitch like me. You wish you had a bitch like me that's going to sit in your corner is going to fight for your money. That's not my fucking money. That ain't got nothing to do with me. But guess what? I know right from wrong. I know right from wrong. And I know that God knows that I know right from wrong. And what Jeanette is doing to this girl D, it is wrong. It is wrong. And that's why I'm going hard. I'm sorry that y'all ain't got friends that will go real fucking hard for you. I'm sorry you ain't got people like that. But D got somebody like that. And D's always going to have me in her corner. Till the day that these wheels fall off, she's going to have me in her corner. And I'm going to keep pressing the issue. 
issue. And yes, I am going to call the city of Stockton on Jeanette. And yes, I am going to call the state board on Jeanette. And yes, I am going to call the IRS on Jeanette. I will press this issue till she gets her money back. And if I have to go to the fucking courthouse with Jeanette to open a small claims, I will fucking do it. I will fucking do it. Yes, it is $250 and the headache is going to be a headache, but I will do it and I will record the whole entire process. And while brick by brick, Jeanette's little business and little entrepreneur face starts devoting its shit, we going to be here. We going to be here. We're going to fucking be here. But let, let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. So, poor... Poor D. Her car's not starting up. She's going to have to leave her car at the shop. It's a mess. That's why I tell you guys, don't play with people's money because we don't know what people are going through. And it sucks that this is what we have to do. All right, we're talking about screenshots where we left it off. Um, This is a screenshot that I'm talking about right now. It is when at 12, 12.06 p.m., um, Somebody sent her, somebody sent Jeanette our videos, and this is what she responded to. She actually sent this stranger, a stranger. This is how much clout she needs and how much validation Jeanette needs. She sent a stranger a video of the freaking furniture not opening it. And she said, this is not normal wear and tear. And then she sent a screenshot of D's and Hearst conversation to a stranger at 12.06 p.m. This is how I know how pathetic Jeanette is and how much she needs validation to make herself feel like she is somebody important. This is how I know because are you going to send a stranger screenshots between the conversation of your last tenant and yourself? To a complete stranger. And she responded, when that girl doesn't pay her rent or give her, give her a 30 day notice, she'll understand I'm not messing. I'm not posting anything. God bless. Mind you, this was at 12.06. But yet, Jeanette started posting all the screenshots of everybody and everything. Then she started posting it right after. So you can't even be trusting yourself talk about god bless them i'm not even gonna post nothing but then you start posting all of this stuff to make you feel like you better like you're somebody good and you're a boss bitch and you're a good mom and all of this stuff because that's what people were saying on them screenshots you're a boss bitch and you're a good mom like girl you're not a good human being period so i wouldn't even believe that you're a good mother if this is how you're acting and then she what she basically said with this message is when that girl doesn't pay her the rent and give her a 30 day notice basically meaning that d's not going to pay me the rent and d is not going to give me a 30 day notice to move out <clears throat> one thing about me that Jeanette needs to understand is i'm a real business owner meaning i don't I don't live off the $600 that D's giving me. I don't need those $600 to be able to pay my rent the way Jeanette does. Because Jeanette needed all of these texts to pay her so she could use that money to pay the rent of that establishment. That's the difference between me and Jeanette. I have been in this building and mind you, I'm purchasing the property. The property's mine. I'm not renting it. I'm purchasing it. That that those twenty thousand square feet of property are mine, as in Mia. Okay, I have been there for almost three years. I just started renting spaces out. That means I was taking care of all of these payments by myself without these nail techs. She needed those nail techs to be able to open and establish that building. So if D doesn't give me 30 day notice, I'm not going to cry about it because I know that the place is beautiful. I know that the place is A1 and I know that people would love to do business with them. I'll have that shit rented out the same day that D decides to leave. I'll have that shit rented right away, right away. And if D decides to pay me late the rent, I'm not going to cry about it because I don't need D's money to be able to pay for my bills. That is extra money that goes into my pocket because my business, we're talking about I have two six-figure businesses. I'm not trying to sound like I'm rich and I got it like that because I, I absolutely don't. But have you guys noticed the background? Have you guys noticed the background? 
there's more than $20,000 right in the back of me. There's more than $20,000 in the back of me. I do not need these lousy $600. So for her to be like, when D don't pay her, and when D trying to make herself better, that's never going to happen for two simple reasons. Because one, I will take care of D to the point where she's not ever going to have to need to disrespect me by not paying me. And she's not going to have to not tell me, hey, sin, I, I, I'm, I'm moving out. The only reason D will have to move out of my property is that if she's trying to start her own business because D will never and I will bet anybody on this social media app. I will bet anybody some straight bank. D will never. She will never leave my property because I can't equip her the necessary tools for her to grow her business. She will never leave because of that. She will never leave because I neglected her as my tenant. She will never leave because of that. If Dee's going to leave my property, is going to be because she wants to open her own salon. And I will bet anybody money on this. I will bet anybody on money on this. Because I will do the best that I can as a business owner. I will do the best that I can to make sure that Dee, and not only Dee, but the, also nail the other nail tech, which is my nail tech, I will do anything and everything to make sure that they have the right resources, the right tools, the right promotions. They are booked. Me as a business owner, and mind you, I'm just renting a space to them. They got nothing to do with my piercing business. They got nothing to do with it's just a poke. I'm just literally renting them a corner. I'm just renting them a corner. When I met my nail tech, she had like 300 followers. She just reached for, uh, 800 followers. And I just started helping her like two months ago. That's what I do for her. That's what I do. My next goal, and like I said, they ain't got nothing to do with me. My next goal, and not trying to put our business out there, but my nail tech has another job, so she does nails on the side. My next goal is to make sure that she is so booked that she quits her other job because I refuse to know somebody and then be my friend, and you have to have two jobs for you to be able to make income. I refuse that. That is me as a boss person, a real boss person, because a leader is going to lead and is going to make sure that everybody behind them is right behind them. Not just give you half ass shit and have you figure it out. A leader leads. A boss is going to be a boss. And I hope that Janet learns from this and the next other little bimbos that she gets because she's going to, this is what she's going to do. Janet's going to find... Other I gotta blow my nose. Janet is going to find young girls that she could get over on because real nail techs are gonna understand this is not okay. Um, and I hope, I hope, I hope that all the girls that do nails and see my videos, I hope that you guys know that this is not acceptable. This is not acceptable. Do not let somebody play with your money, give you some phony contract, give you some phony promises, and then do not deliver. <sighs> but okay, I said so much trying to say one thing. Um, but that's that's literally that was at 12.06. And then after that, she was literally posting like, this is not normal wear and tear. Girl, that shit's just literally, literally like, uh, tan poquito zafado, amiga. Tan zafado. Un, un, un tornillo y un, un, how you say, screwdriver. Una, una, una desarmador. Un, un desarmador. You put that little thing in the desarmador and you just fucking twist it and push it and you, and it's gonna work. It's, it, a little W40 if it squeaks a little bit a little W40 it's gonna have a real nice it's gonna have a real nice real nice <laughs> Jenna stop being fucking weird <laughs> seriously and then I already showed you guys all the screenshots when she was talking all that shit on her social media but now she deleted everything girl what you gonna say about me ain't nothing you can say about me girl hey, there ain't nothing you can say about me nothing um okay so that screenshot, and I, like I said, I have all the screenshots of the whole entire conversation because basically, the way that it went down, Jeanette, when, when, when Jeanette saw my videos on social media and she knew there was a YouTube video coming, instead of Jeanette contacting D 
to try to resolve the solution, she contacted my nail tech. My nail tech has nothing to do with D. That's two separate people. Why do you need to go to somebody else to talk about D? And this is what she said. This is exactly what she said. The top part, the top part on here is when Jeanette is saying that she's going to call the cops on them if they return to the nail salon. Um, and that's when I told them on Halloween, I told them to go back to the salon, use the keys because it's still legally, it was still the 31st. Legally, they had until the 1st to return. And this is how I know Jeanette is just, she's a bimbo. She doesn't know anything about business. She doesn't know anything about law. Legally, they have until the 1st to hand you the key. It was still the 31st. It was still the 31st. So legally, they had every right to go in there, okay? That's what you guys are going to see on this top message right here. That's what you guys are going to see. She's like, um, um, my nail tech sent Jeanette that message saying, um, hey, Jeanette, I wanted to reach out because I know you are upset. I went with D last night because I knew technically that was the last day there. I would never let myself in any other day. We was working late. I would have... I wouldn't ever disrespect you or do anything that would be harmful to you. She told me you was changing the lock, so I guess it won't be no use to give you the keys. I hope nothing is success for you. This is what my nail tech told Janet after Janet told them that she was going to call the cops if they went to her building again. Mind you, legally they were able to enter because it was still the 31st. That's how you know this girl is fucking delusional. All right. The bottom part is when she's telling, um, she's telling my nail tech that she can't message me. Mind you, she's sitting there. Oh, my battery's about to die. A little battery going. Um, I forgot what I was saying, but I'm gonna show y'all the screenshots. She basically said, I can't message that girl that is talking about bashing me, but when D sends messages like this, she'll understand exactly where I'm coming from, literally the day before the rent is due. And then I'll show you guys those messages that she's talking about. First of all, <clears throat> you are out there talking on social media and, and doing all this. Not only that, but you are following other people's pages so you're able to talk to them about the situation but you can't sit there and follow me and talk to me directly like i'm the one doing the yappy 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 my nail tech ain't said nothing about you the minute these girls moved out of that salon they have not said anything on social media about that girl they haven't posted nothing about her I'm the one saying all this. So why can't you, the same way you big, bad, and bold, posting all that stuff on social media, why can't you add me? Why can't you add me and tell me what the fuck you want to tell me to my fucking face? Why can't you add me? You want to sit there and, and tell the other nail girl? What the fuck they got to do with this? They ain't got nothing to do with this because they're not the ones talking all the shit. I'm the one talking this shit. So be big, bad, and big, big, bad, and bold. Don't be huffing and puffing if you're waving to huff and puff. Go ahead and add me. Go ahead and add me and send me those screenshots. Send me those screenshots and talk to me because I'm the one talking. Go ahead and talk to me. Why you ain't talking to me though? You want to talk to everybody else? You want to talk to strangers? You want to talk to the nail techs? You want to talk to everybody else but you ain't talking to the person who's actually talking about you? That's some scary shit. Like, you sitting there talking to all of these random-ass people. You sitting there sending random-ass people the videos and all this. Why you ain't send me that? Why you ain't add me? Girl, I was going to accept you anyway, so... That's how I know she was fake as fuck. <laughs> um, and then she ended up... Oh, let me show you guys. Because y'all don't have proof of everything. It's in no talk, 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 talk. That's basically it. Go ahead and pause to read it. And then that's basically her sending um, the screenshots that she wants me to like read. And then this is the part where she says, 
and I could have charged the 25 late fee every day she was late and because I'm nice I didn't do that to her but I'm sure she doesn't know about all this don't screenshot and send this to her please just show her because it does it does say it on the contract as you know girl I'm gonna show the whole internet you should have never said that because I'm gonna show the whole internet you can't trust me with nothing that's her right there she said don't screenshot this and get girl she works at my shop you really think we ain't sitting there talk about it girl <laughs> she's delusional she Janet you're delusional you straight delolo at the bottom it says I can easily send her the money but after everything she's doing I'm not uh, she says um I'm not and I have all of my licenses as you know and then this is the bottom part pause to read it you just tell me you're not gonna send it because after everything that I have said the deposit ain't mine baby the deposit ain't mine baby I think we need to establish that that deposit is not mine so if I talk shit about you about your business that deposit is not mine so you cannot keep these deposit because I choose to talk bad about you and I choose to talk bad about your business you cannot keep these deposit you're delusional you're literally sick in the head you're sick all right that is literally the outs that is everything that happened after the main conversation that's literally after everything now I want you guys I know I started one of those books where I show you the bad and then I show you how it got to the bad I did one of those um now I'm gonna show you why it got to this place I'm gonna show you guys those screenshots because I got those screenshots of everything um let me see where it goes let me see because I have so many screenshots, y'all, but some of these are not really important. Um, okay. This was on Tuesday. What day was Tuesday? I don't know. This was Tuesday. This was Tuesday. So that was, um, was it Tuesday? Did it say Tuesday? It said Tuesday. Tuesday, but which Tuesday, though? Because yesterday was Tuesday. So was it Tuesday the 26th or Tuesday? It had to have been Tuesday the 26th because this happened Thursday. Oh no. That was on Halloween because Halloween fell on a Tuesday. I'm sorry y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was Halloween. So it was October 31st Tuesday. That's the day we're talking. That's the day in questioning. So D sent Jeanette the message it says hi Jeanette when did you want to meet up for the keys and the deposit and that was at 6 16. Jeanette responded Heidi one of the drawers were broken and the top will need to be replaced when we did the contract you were supposed to let me know 30 days in advance for any changes to your lease last month you did not pay your full rent and changed without giving me a 30 day notice that will also be out of your deposit so then D said laughing my ass off okay let me contact you back I will have somebody revise the contract professionally Jeanette responded and said that is perfectly fine D responded hey can you send me a picture of what's broken Jeanette responded yes I will send them tomorrow that's when I told D you need to go to that salon and take pictures of everything because she's not finna play you stupid. I was the one who told you to go to go told her to go there because legally she still had the right to enter that building because it was still October 31st and not the first. I told her to do that. This is that screenshot right there. You guys are more than welcome to pause it and read it. All right. 
Then the next part is D sending her pictures of what's broken and she said just wanted to confirm that these are the damages you are talking about. This is normal wear and tear. My manicure station was not made to resist the products that we use every day as a nail tech. This is not a nail desk that was provided. There is no start date on my contract that also should void our contract but nonetheless Per contract, Lisa Rented has an obligation to keep the fixture on the lease premises in the same conditions as received on the start date. Reasonable wear and tear is accepted. Contract attached. Per the second picture, the drawer is not broken. It just needs to be tightened due to poor construction. I can send you instructions on how to tighten it or I could do it myself. The second part about me not paying, I do have text messages that confirms that we have agreed that I will be part-time last month. I was there, so it was paid in full. Text messages attached. After giving you my proof, I feel I am entitled to my full deposit, $250 back. I have been Moselle Cash App. If it's more convenient for you to give me cash in person, please let me know ASAP what day you would like me to pick it up. I will attach the form of payment. Thank you. My cash app is so and so and so. This is what D told Janet, right? Here it is. Go ahead and pause and read. And then I'm not going to, uh, actually I could potentially include, I just don't want to attach um, D's personal information. So I'm going to do a, one of these moments right here. Oi. Oi, oi, oi. Let me see if I could get another paper. Go ahead and pause and read that. All right, so then... Um, <clears throat> <coughs> this is what bimbo janet responded <clears throat> i will have my attorney contact you the gem the damages are there and i do have to replace them therefore it is not good but i'm not going back and forth with you over damages you clearly didn't take care didn't care to take care of the equipment because you didn't pay for it that is why it's included in the contract anywhere and tear is okay the drawer is literally falling apart which was not when you when you were handed the station and the top scuff is not a scratch or just something small i do have to replace it that's what Janet said. And then Janet sent a copy of the contract to D, right? And then she also sent screenshots of a conversation that they had previous. This is where this is where Janet literally said that she would have her attorney contact Deanna. And Deanna is 22. Deanna has never been sued. Deanna has never sued anybody. Deanna has never needed to get um, a attorney. She probably doesn't even know how to get an attorney. What Janet is doing is she's using what's called a scare tactic. You want to scare your tenants. You want to scare the people that work for you so they don't come back and try to do something else. You scare people by saying, I'm going to get a lawyer because people know that lawyers are expensive. People know that they can't afford a lawyer. So easily, if D didn't have me in her back corner, D would have probably got scared. But I told her straight up when I read that message, I told her D. I have been sued before. I have sued people, not once, not twice. I have sued people before. There is no lawyer out there. There is no lawyer unless they're doing pro bono, but it is so hard to find a pro bono lawyer and no pro bono lawyer is gonna go through all of this mess just for $250. I told D straight up, there is no lawyer, there is no attorney, there is nobody in their right mind that is gonna go after somebody for $250. Their retainer alone, their retainer alone, it is going to be more, we're talking about thousands of dollars, thousands of dollars to get an attorney, thousands of dollars. Like I told you guys in my last video, the last person that I sued, no, actually he sued me. Who sued who? 
I think he sued me. I can't fucking remember. The last person that sued me, anyways, the last person that I had to get a lawyer for, the lawyer cost me $10,000. The lawyer retainer fee cost me $10,000. You're to tell me that Janet, Janet don't even got $10,000. Let's be real. Janet don't got $10,000, first of all. Second of all, you guys really think that Janet's going to go out and get an attorney over $250? You guys think that Janet has an attorney on speed dial? Baby, you can't even pay somebody $250. Matter of fact, you can't even get some good quality furniture that's not some Ikea bullshit. And you just tell me that you got an attorney on speed dial? Sweetie, you don't have an attorney. Let's go from there. You don't have an attorney. You probably never sued somebody. You probably never been sued, but you're in, probably going to be in the process of it because going to the small claims is absolutely free. I will take your ass with D. We will take you to small claims if it gets to it. And I will sit there and I will laugh in your fucking face when I see you face to face. I will fucking laugh at you over $250. Not only are you not going to be able to do fucking nails because you're going to be in court, but you're going to feel really fucking stupid because all of this shit is going to be documented documentary and when i tell you that things be on social media for the rest of your life that your face is going to be blasted everywhere that you got sued for 250 dollars because your stupid ass didn't want to give it to her when you know you're wrong you know you're wrong you're wrong <laughs> okay let's move on i'm gonna show you guys a screenshot what janet said i'm gonna have my attorney contact you <laughs> janet you ain't got no attorney shut the fuck up you fucking weird ass bitch you're weird as fuck you're weird as fuck. You ain't finna come here and intimidate nobody. And you definitely ain't finna intimidate me, honey. You could be older than me, but you ain't finna intimidate me. Ah, ni a los talones me llegas, mami. Ni a los talones me llegas. All right. Um, she sent screenshot of like the conversation that her and Dee had. I'm not gonna really read over that because I have all the text messages from the start. So I'm gonna read everything. But um, this is the other part she said. Moving forward, I will have my attorney contact you. The locks will be changed. You or anyone is no longer there. I will not be... Who is no longer there will not be allowed on the premises. Or the cops will be called. I read that hella botched, but here you guys go. Basically, that's what she's saying. That she's going to call the cops and that no one's allowed to be there. <laughs> Boom. Moving forward, I will have my attorney contact you. I said bet, bet. I said bet. That's when I told I told um, I told D, don't text her no more. That's it. We're gonna wait for her attorney to go ahead and contact you. That's it. When someone says I'm gonna have my attorney contact you, don't say anything else. Don't say absolutely nothing else. Wait till their attorney contact you. Don't say absolutely nothing else. Twenty four hours. Twenty four hours happened. And I told her, I was like, hey, has she messaged you? Has her attorney contacted you? Because I take that shit serious. Because you're not going to throw it in my face talking about I'm going to have my attorney contact you. Because all right then. Because all right then. Because okay then. Have them contact me. When they going to contact me? All right then. Bet. Bet. Girl, you can't play that shit in my face because I'm really going to press the issue. I'm going to press the issue. And guess what I did? I pressed the motherfucking issue. And what the hell did I tell you guys in my last video? I made that last video before shit popped off. I made that last video before shit popped off. And I told you guys straight the fuck up on my last video. Jeanette ain't got no attorney money. Jeanette don't even got an attorney. And this this going to prove this shit. This going to prove this shit. This how I know... One thing that you guys got to learn about Sin, Sin don't talk shit just to talk shit. Sin be real factual about her. Because I don't need to prove myself. I don't need to lie about nothing. I don't need to prove nobody nothing. Okay? I love myself the way that I am and I don't need to lie about nothing. I don't need to do anything to be liked more than what I already like myself. I love myself. So I ain't got to lie about nothing. Did I or did I not tell you guys in my last video that that's all bullshit and she's using that as a scare tactic? Here we go. I saw Dee the next day and I told her, did she contact her attorney contact you? Did she contact you? She said no. I said, all right, bet. Let's ask her what's going on. <clears throat> so Dee responded to her the next day, 24 hours. She said, Dee responded to her. 
it has been 24 hours and your attorney has not contacted me. I feel like you are withholding my deposit with no valid reason. Per your contract, that is not valid where, no, that is valid, that, blah, 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 blah. Per your contract, that is normal wear and tear. As I've shown you, the desk is not broken. It is not built correctly and can be easily fixed. Please have your attorney get back to me immediately about this matter. Or you can give me his and her phone number and I can personally talk to them about the situation. Toma. 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 That's how a real boss bitch talk to somebody. They haven't contacted me. How about you give me their phone number? Girl, y'all have me so proud of myself. Period, poo. Because if you want to talk about attorneys, baby, we could talk about attorneys. <laughs> we could talk about it. It's because it's so funny. I swear I've never met somebody as weird as her. Like, Jeanette, you weird. Like, Jeanette, look at the camera. Look at the camera. You're looking. You're weird as fuck. You're the weirdest person I've ever met in my life. Jeanette, you're weird. This, this was Jeanette's response. You can have yours reach out. I'm not going out of my way. Also mention the week you were late and you didn't pay the $25 late a day late fee per R-H-Y-I-S. I don't know what that is. It says on the contract that it is the last thing I'm sending you and you can have your lawyer contact me as you are now being blocked. If two plus two is four, what the fuck is this? Because how the fuck you going to tell somebody, I'm going to have my attorney contact you. And then when someone presses the issue and you're like, give me your attorney's information, all of a sudden you're going to be like, have yours contact me. We never said we was going to have our attorney contact you. We never said we were going to get a lawyer to contact you. We never said that. We said, what is your lawyer's information so we could contact your lawyer? And all of a sudden you want to turn around and be like, have yours contact me. Did I not say in my last video that Jeanette doesn't have an attorney and did I not say that she was using that as a scare tactic? Did I not say that? And all of a sudden you want her to get a lawyer to try to come and get her $250 deposit? No. Jeanette, you want to be big, bad, and bold? You want to be a boss, bitch? You want to be all this and that? You want to be huffing and puffing? Then huff and puff, bro. Huff and puff. Get your attorney to go after D. Huff and puff. You're a dog. All, all bark, no bite dog. That's what Jeanette is. She is literally all bark no bite. Talking about I'm gonna get my attorney, I'm gonna get my attorney. So when we press the issue like okay when is your attorney gonna contact me you want to turn around and be like have your attorney contact me we never said we were gonna get an attorney we never said we were gonna have an attorney contact we never said that you said that you said you were gonna have an attorney and now that we pressing the issue because baby we don't care all of a sudden you want to be like have yours contact me Jeanette you're a joke Jeanette, you're really a joke, and this shit is falling apart. Like, it's falling apart. Like, you're falling apart over two. <laughs> She's so pressed over $250. That means that she doesn't have the funds to give to her. She doesn't have the money to give it to her. That's what this is all about. You're really sitting there fighting a 22-year-old talking about, I'm going to get my attorney to contact you over $250? Is that how much needy you are? So then D responded to, if you ain't had the money, just say that. LOL. You're for sure needed more now. Peace and love. Our contract doesn't have a date or is it even signed? So we don't have a contract. LOL. 
this is this is that. That go ahead and uh like girl and then she read the message and that was the end of the conversation like she never responded to her Jeanette never responded Jeanette never said nothing again to her that was that but she wanted to contact other nail techs about the situation like girl you weird as fuck Jeanette you weird like I've never met somebody as weird as Jeanette I swear to god like that girl Jeanette is weird like she's so weird so this was September 30. This was September 30. Oof, my nose. Um, she said, hi, Jeanette. Good afternoon. Before we enter into a new month of October, I wanted to ask about switching over to part time. It has been super slow for me and my bills are catching up to me. So please let me know if that will be OK. I was also wondering how much it was weekly for part time. This is September 30. This is September 30. Okay, this is what Jeanette responded. Okay, sounds good. This month will be 550, but if you want next month to do the part-time, you can or if you want to switch to pay in. Weekly is 150 a week or part-time it's only 3 days a week. Monthly is 350. I do want to keep that desk Jocelyn had for full time. Then D responded, that's okay. I don't think I want that desk either in memory of Jocelyn. I, I, I think, did I say Jeanette earlier? I meant Jocelyn. Um, that's another nail tech that left. Like I tell you, they keep falling. She then says, so we'll do weekly this month and start November is part time. That's what she said. So we'll do weekly this month and starting November is part time. I think the days I want is Wednesday through Friday. That's what D said. I do need to know 30 days in advance for any changes. So this month will be the same as the contract. And then next month we can do it weekly or part time. However you would like. I wouldn't have it for the month. I'm sorry. This would be. This would be you letting me know 30 days in advance. I don't know. It, this is what D responded to that. I don't know if you can work with me because it's looking bad. To be honest, I've been down bad. Then she said, what can you do for the rent this month? D said, I can do weekly, but I have bills to pay for the first everything added up. I don't think about what I got myself into. I didn't think about what I got myself into. That's what D said. So then this is where um, Jeanette responded. So how much you willing to pay tomorrow? D said 150 is weekly, correct? Then Jeanette said, okay, did you want to meet tomorrow, Venmo or Cash App? D said, I could do Venmo or Cash App. Jeanette said, okay, perfect. Do you have mine or you want me to send it? Then D said, I will send 200 tomorrow. You can send it to me. Janet said, okay, thank you. Which one do you want, Venmo or Cash App? So then Janet sent her the Cash App, and then that was the end. Let me know when you send it. That was the end. That was September, okay? So when Jeanette is talking about oh she didn't even pay her her full month you agree to that you I literally have proof of you agreeing that she is going to pay you a hundred and fifty dollar weekly if you were really pressed about the issue you could have put your foot down and I understand you were probably still trying to be a good person trying to help D I totally understand that but you decided to break your own contract when you agreed to allow D to pay $150 opposed to the $550. You agreed to that. So that is no longer a valid reason for you to withhold D's deposit because you agreed for her to pay you only 
$150. There is no, and I'm gonna, actually, I forgot to post, I, I forgot to put the, the screenshots. Hold on. So that's the first one. Go ahead and pause to read. That's the second one. Go ahead and pause to read. That's the third one. Go ahead and pause to read. And then the other one, I'm not going to show it because it literally shows the girl's cash app, which is like, wait. it literally shows the girl's cash app, um, um, Jeanette's cash app. So I'm not going to show that one. Jeanette literally agreed for D to pay $150. That took care of the month of October for that week. That took care of that. So now that she wants to go and be like, well, you didn't pay this, you didn't pay that, I'm going to deduct that from your deposit. And then she wants to turn around and be like, she was late $25. And she even said it to the other nail tech. She said... I, I, I didn't charge you for the $25 because I was being nice. And I'm actually going to pull that so I can read it. And I could have charged the $25 late fee every day she was late. And because I'm nice, I didn't. That is also debunking your own contract. You're debunking your own contract because you should have charged her right then and there. If D was late, you should have charged her right then and there. Now... You said, and I didn't because I was nice. So that's you doing a favor for her. But now what you want to do is take it off her deposit. That's already debunked because you agreed to be a nice person. And may God bless you for trying to help D in some tough situations. May God bless you. But you can't come on a fucker in the ass now and not give her her deposit back. You can't do that. You sat there. And agreed to D only paying you $150 opposed to $550. And you sat there and decided not to charge her the $25 per day for a late fee. You chose to do these things out of the kindness of your heart. And being a nice person, it's not always a good thing. It's not always a good thing because now you're out of whatever amount that you feel like you need to take from this deposit. You chose to be nice to her. But now you can't take away her deposit because you as a person chose to be nice about it and decided to do these favors for her when she was in need. But now that she has her own situation and she has her own place and she is now elevating herself, now all of a sudden you want to be a bitch about it and you want to come and try to take that deposit. You can't be the nice guy and then want to play the villain. You have to figure out which one you're going to be. Either you're going to be the nice guy or you're going to be the villain. But you can't just have a two-faced with yourself because at this point this is what you're doing you're being a two-faced to yourself you want to be nice about it you want to do favors for people pero luego se los quieres cobrar that's that's not really a good human being if you're gonna do a favor for somebody it's gonna be a favor you're not gonna come back and want to charge them for that favor later in time when it's beneficial to you don't do that and if you're a person watching this video and you have noticed yourself that you have people around that they'll do a lot of favors for you, but when you can't do something or when something doesn't go their way, the first thing they're like, well, I did this for you. Well, I did that for you. That's not a real friend. That's not somebody that cares about you. That's not someone that's going to take care of you and it's going to do favors for the free. Or if you notice yourself that you are that type of person that you do favors for people and then later on you want to like throw it in their face, that's not really a good person and you should learn how to avoid that and you should become a better person and not do that. If you're going to do a favor to somebody, it's because you're going to do a favor from the kindness of your heart. And let me tell you guys something. As one of God's favorites, when you do a favor to somebody and it is a genuine favor, God is going to bless you. God is going to give you that blessing. Janet had the opportunity to have God bless her in a sense where she could have been like, you know what, you did fuck up my drawer, you did fuck up this, you didn't pay me for this, you didn't do this, you charged me, I, I didn't charge you for this and this, but I'm going to go ahead and give you that full deposit because I want you to be successful in life. Mind you, this is a 30 year old something that could have gave this 22 an advice about life, but instead she chose, Jeanette chose the situation to just want to stick it to somebody. To want to stick it to somebody, especially somebody younger. Come stick it to somebody that actually got funds that ain't going to care about that. Come stick it to somebody like me. She can't. Why? Because she didn't even stick it to the other girls. There was four other um, 
uh, three other nail techs and one um and one facial girl she gave every single body their deposit back every single body she didn't give it to d that is because she's trying to stick it to d Jeanette should have used this situation to help D and be like, here, I don't think you deserve it, but I'm going to give it to you because I'm, I, I, you're, you're moving on, you're young, da 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 God would have blessed Jeanette. Jeanette would have probably had all those stations rented out before because God sees genuine hearts and God sees genuine people. And Jeanette can't sit there and post because she'd be posting subliminals all the time. She'd be posting all these subliminals talking about, I don't need nobody to do this. I don't need nobody. Girl, you always going to need somebody in life. You're always going to need somebody in life. And you can't go around life. You can't go through life thinking, I'm never going to need nobody. I, I, I got myself. I, that I have had probably a worse life than Jeanette, I, if you guys don't know me, I am a former foster youth. I don't have mommy and daddy money. Everything that I have today, everything that you guys see, everything that you guys see, I bought it for myself. No one has ever helped to purchase anything for me. But I tell you that I don't go around like talking about I don't need nobody because one day, one day I'm going to need a favor from somebody. One day I'm going to need somebody to help me out. But if I got that attitude, I don't need nobody. I got myself. When you need somebody, ain't, ain't nobody going to be there for you. Ain't nobody going to hold you down. We have to ask people, stop making our life difficult when it doesn't have to be difficult. Jeanette could have, could have literally just sent her the deposit and said, you know what? You need it more than I do. Take that. And none of this would have happened. You guys would have never known how unpro unprofessional her salon is. The, hell, the, the state board would have never found out because I am going to call them. The state board would never find out. The IRS would never find out. The city of Stockton would have never found out. You guys would have never known how unprofessional. None of this would have happened if she would have just... Ugh. But people like to make their life so difficult. And this is why we're in this situation. Because she chose to make her life difficult. She chose this. As you guys can see, I don't just talk out of my ass. I think Jeanette is wrong. I literally sit here and think that Jeanette is wrong. She is wrong. Jeanette should return this $250 deposit. Jeanette should do it. But now here we are. Here we are. And I will tell you, Jeanette is going to fall face first. Life is going to get to her. Life is going to get to her and the way that life is going to get to her is that she's not going to be able to rent out those stations. She's not going to be able to rent them out or God forbid the IRS come knocking on her door like, hey, you haven't paid me for this. You haven't paid me for that. We have proof that you've been doing nails for four years and you haven't never reported that. And then the IRS is going to come audit your shit and now you got a fine from the IRS. Then the state board's going to come in and they might give you another fine. Then the city of Stockton might give you another fine. That's three fines. We're talking about, let's say Jeanette has done $100,000 worth of, worth of um, nails. How much do you think she owes Uncle Sam? Come on now. Imagine how much worse this could be. Over $250. This is what I mean that she might fall f face first. And it could have all have been avoided. But you want to stick it to somebody. Somebody else is going to stick it to you. Whatever you put out in the universe. That's what you're going to get. This is why I don't sit around and try to scam people off 5, 10, 15, 100, 250 dollars. I don't try to do none of that. You want to know why? Because I know that whatever I put out into the world. That is what I'm going to get back. And I don't need none of that weird shit. I don't need nobody. I don't need to play with nobody's money. Because I don't nobody playing with my money and let me tell you guys something don't nobody fuck with my money don't nobody play with my money because i don't play with nobody's money and that's how shit is period you play with people somebody gonna come play with you te topas con alguien te quieres meter con alguien alguien se va a meter contigo that's how life is whatever you put out you're gonna get that shit back 
I am literally Janet's worst nightmare right now because she never thought that this would happen. She never thought that a bitch was going to have these back. She never thought that somebody was going to have the fucking cojones to come over here and literally grab her whole entire life piece by piece by fucking piece and put it out on the internet for the whole fucking world to see it. She never thought that that was going to happen. And this is where we're at now. And it's going to keep going because obviously today is Friday and I can't, it's already Friday at night. I can't talk to state board. I can't talk to the IRS. I can't talk to the city of Stockton, which I did try to go today. I can't talk to anybody right now because it is late. But part three is coming, which is going to be me going on Monday, having all of these phone calls and literally start making these phone calls to everybody because this doesn't end here because the story ended here it's gonna keep on happening and happening and happening and happening and this is gonna stay on social media until d gets her 250 dollars. this is gonna stay on social media and like i said if i have to go to the 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 courthouse to do a small claims against janet and help d I will do it. I will do it. What is a small claim? Is when you take somebody to court, it has to be under $10,000 and it's absolutely free. You don't need any lawyers, any attorneys. You don't need nothing. You don't pay nothing unless you want to serve somebody papers. Then you take, then you, I think it's like 50 or $100 that you pay somebody if you want them to serve them the papers or you could serve her yourself. Girl, you know how many followers I got? Anybody will go serve her papers for free. For free. So we don't even got to pay those $100, those $50. It is absolutely free to do a small claim on somebody under $10,000. And that's exactly what's going to happen. If, D, if, if Janet doesn't, after all this mess, if she's like, you know what, let me just give it to her. That's going to be the next step. But regardless, we are going to get that money regardless because now we're gonna go in front of a judge and the judge is gonna decide if that is normal wear and tear and the contract is not even i forgot to show you guys pictures of the contract and i forgot to show you guys because it didn't have um because it had um these actually personal information like her phone number and stuff like that and it also had the girl um janice personal information this is the contract this is the last page of the contract Do you guys see how D didn't even sign it? D didn't even sign this contract. So it is not even a legal contract. Any judge that see this, it's going to be like, there is a signature missing. There's literally a signature missing. And then, let's see here is stuff missing pause to read all that if you want but it literally has it's supposed to have the name of the person who's leasing the place it doesn't even have the name on there and then where's the other part that it doesn't even have a start date ah right here it says the leaser slash landlord shall pro shall Provide the following on the start date. There's literally no start date. And mind you, this is supposed to be a big boss, a big lady who got a salon, a big old entrepreneur. This is supposed to be a big boss at right you can't even get a contract right and you think you got an attorney <laughs> rewind if you had an attorney your attorney would have done this contract so you to tell me that your attorney allowed this contract i don't know what else i can say there's there's literally nothing, not, nothing else i can say you guys can see that this girl and for all the people that were trying to bash me i really do hope that you guys sit here and i don't care if you guys like me or not i don't care i don't wake up in the morning like today i want to be liked no i have 
done this for so long that I have learned that you can't make everybody happy. Is, does everybody like the way that we pierce? No. Does everybody like who I am as a person? No. Does everybody agree that I should be talking about this situation and post this, this on my on my business pages? No. Um, does everybody agree that I'm professional? No. Does everybody agree that we're the best in the 209? Absolutely not. I have learned as a business person and as a human, I have learned that you're not going to like, that not everybody's going to like you. You're not going to make everybody happy. There's people that don't like you. I have learned that. I don't lose sleep over it. I don't let that get under my skin. A lot of people sit there and they want to read all the bad You guys could go to my TikTok. Go literally sit there and read how much people literally sit there and drag me. People drag me. People drag me. I don't sit there and read none of that stuff. Why? The minute you start reading into those type of stuff, you're going to start to feel sick about yourself. I don't read none of that stuff. All the stuff that Jeanette was posting that people were talking shit about me. I read the first one and I knew that was talking shit about me and I said that's it. I don't need to, I don't need to know how much people don't like me. I know people don't like me and I will be a okay with that. I will be just fine. Jeanette on the other hand, she needs to post all this stuff so she could feel big, bad and bold. We ain't doing none of that. We ain't doing no 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 no. We ain't doing none of that. Okay? Girl, what you're not going to do is come intimidate somebody, okay? And for all the people that was talking about me, talking about all the mess, I hope you guys saw this video and I hope you guys feel real stupid defending somebody without having the whole fool. But this is what people do. This is what people do. If people don't like you, they're going to go to other people that don't like you and they're going to make a little click. And that's what happened. That's literally what's happening. All these people that I don't like me, mind you, they're still watching. And now they saw somebody that I'm going with. And they're sitting there, oh my god, you this, you that, you're such a boss. Like, she don't know what she's talking about. I hope all those people saw everything that it, they laid out. And I hope they feel, I, I hope they feel stupid. I hope they feel stupid because, like I said, I don't just talk to talk. Everything that I say is legit. I have proof of everything. I don't talk just to make people. Uh, I'm an entertainer, but I'm also the real motherfucking deal. And I keep that shit real to myself because I don't I don't need to lie to make nobody like me. Like I've been telling you guys, all of this shit is real. And I laid it out the way that I fucking laid it out. If D would have been wrong, I would have told D straight the fuck up. You're wrong and you need to go handle that. You're fucking wrong. But D's not wrong. But okay, this is this is the part two, and then uh, part three is coming because now I have to go figure out. Now I'm just I'm just I'm just bored. I'm just bored. Now I want to find out if she a real boss bitch. I want to find out if she got all her ducks in a row, which I don't think so. But I need to find out. Now I'm gonna find out, and now that's gonna be part three. Part four, if we still don't get the deposit, we still don't get no resolution. Part four is going to be literally us going to the courthouse and suing her for the $250 with a small claim. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining me for my YouTube videos. Highly appreciate you guys staying tuned for the past uh, six hours. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much. And we're entertainers in this bitch. XO Nail Bar.